What's up guys, Justin here with thecgessentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna check out an add-on that helps you quickly create randomized starships in Blender. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so Starship Generator is a tool from Mark Kingsnorth designed to help you create random spaceships really quickly inside of Blender. So Mark has brought us a lot of other cool add-ons like Conform Object, as well as Perspective Plotter, which lets you match photos inside of Blender for modeling. This one is specifically designed to help you generate random starships. And so this is a pretty cool one. It's built on top of geometry nodes, which is something I really like. But let's talk about a little bit about how it works, that kind of thing. So first thing is you install it. And when you install it, it just shows up under here under add starship generator. And basically it's a tool for adding those starships. So the first thing it adds and something that Blender has always needed is under add mesh, there's now an option for starship, which every 3D modeling software should have in my opinion. But basically what this does is this creates a geometry nodes starship. And so the cool thing about this is if I move this over, this, Notice how I can still adjust it by going over into my modifier settings right here. And this is going to generate a random starship based on the seed that we create. And so notice how these are all different styles and you can type in whatever value you want and it's gonna generate a random starship based on those inputs. All right, and so one cool thing I wanna point out about this particular add-on is the level of documentation for a $15 add-on um, is pretty impressive. There's a 17 video playlist on the configurate website which is mark's uh or the on the configurate youtube channel which is mark's youtube channel that talks you through basically everything that you can do with this tool so it's got everything from working with materials to how you can export to different applications other things like that and so in addition to being able to adjust the random seed to whatever you want to create your own randomized starship like this, you can also go into the other settings inside of the drop downs in here and adjust other things as well. And so basically what this is doing is this is randomizing the components contained inside of the Starship components group right here. And you can see those by clicking on the checkbox right here to see what this is building off of. You could also add objects to these collections in order to add them to the random pieces that get placed inside of your random starships. But you can also adjust things like the paneling and the scattering of small pieces by going into the node setup right here. So for example, I could add additional scatter objects in here by adjusting the density up. And so by adjusting the density up, you can see how it's placing more of these parts and pieces in here, but you could also adjust the scale. So I can bring the minimum maximum scale up or down in order to adjust the kind of random size that's used for these particular starships. And so you can also adjust other things like the paneling. So you can come in here and you can adjust like the subdivision, you can adjust the size of the panels, other things like that to really kind of customize what's created with these random starships. So I'd recommend going in and playing around with these settings just to see what some of them do. Note that depending on the complexity of your model, this can run a little bit slower and take just a minute in order to update, but um, you definitely get a lot of control over what can be randomly generated on these starship models. So applying custom textures is pretty easy. You can watch this video right here. Basically just add a couple nodes and link them into the principal BSDF node and you can get your own custom textures in here. So if you just follow the instructions in this video, it's pretty easy to get your own custom textures to apply on the surface of your objects. So it's also set up with a tool that generates lights on the surface for your object that you can adjust by adjusting the options in the shader node. So I can bring this up or down in order to generate more lights on the surface of my starships. So you can export these models to other programs. Um, exporting the geometry is easy. You can just right click on your object, go to Starship Generator and click on Apply All Modifiers. That's going to make this a final object so that it's no longer editable, um, but that is something that's going to be complete so that you can export that to another program. There are some instructions you need to follow though about exporting your texture maps, which you can follow by watching which you can follow by watching this video right here in their playlist, the exporting to other applications tool right here. So you'll just have to do a little bit of mapping and then bake some textures in order to make everything permanent. Because right now this is all still running based on nodes and you just need to get this baked down so that you have like an emission map and other things like that. So again, you can follow the instructions in this video in order to do that. I'll make sure to link to that in the notes down below. So you can also add your own custom objects just by adding them to these collections that this is using um, in order to place those. So there's more instructions on how to do this 
in that playlist as well. So if you're looking to add some things, maybe that aren't as smooth as the ones that are in there, like not as subdivided or anything like that, you can do that by using the custom objects function. All right, so overall to me, this is a really fun one. I mean, being able to procedurally generate starships is actually a really fun thing to be able to do, but I'd love to hear what you think in the comments down below. I will link to this on this page. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.